what is going on everyone welcome back to another video here on the channel and as always we are going to go ahead and just get it started so if you could like the video subscribe if you're not subscribed and hey how's it going my name's rap boy let's go for men on behalf of all women we would love to know the answers one have you ever fantasized about your wedding is that something that guys think about ever that's a great question i've been wondering that myself i'm going to go ahead and answer some of these questions for this for this person and uh, correct me if i'm wrong fellas but i'm going to say no men don't think about weddings or anything like that i don't think i've ever thought of a wedding actually when i had seen this clip earlier i asking myself when did i ever think about a wedding and then i said i did think about one and it was this movie had came out called wedding crashers and uh i remember watching that movie and thought it was pretty funny but uh that was the only time i've ever thought about a wedding then or since so i, I don't think men think about weddings i think that's a woman that's mainly a woman thing unless i'm wrong there there might be some guys out there that think about weddings all the time I, i've never met one I've, ne I've never talked about a wedding with another dude. It's just never happened. It doesn't come up in conversation. So men don't really think about that that I'm aware of. Let's continue. Even if you're not in a relationship, like, you have a vision or no? Two, do you ever borrow each other's clothes? Have you ever gone to a pregame and been like, I need to look in your closet right now. I have literally nothing to wear. I hate my outfit. And then you end up like outfits with each other like three times. No, no, man. No, man. I believe you get your kick saying so much like that, man. No. I don't think I've ever borrowed any of my friend's clothes at all, mainly because I don't wear the same size as a lot of my friends. I'm uh, kind of taller, broader shoulders. Um, I don't think their shirts would fit me anyways. There was one instance, and this was back when I was in college, and I did accidentally wear my roommate's pants to work. I did wear my roommate's pants to work one day. <laughs> That's actually a funny story I might tell later, but uh, that was a very weird day, very weird work day. But, uh, but let's continue. I don't think that guys do that, but I would love it if they did. Did you ever lip sync to like School Musical or Camp Rock in the mirror as a kid? Also, did you like High School Musical and Camp Rock? And if you didn't, why are you lying? Oh, you, no, hang on. Just realized. Um, I, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I do know of them, but uh, I was never really a big uh, Disney Channel person, I don't think. Especially around that time, absolutely not. I've never really liked musicals ever. I don't know a lot of guys that actually like musicals, so uh, I, I don't think I've never been to a musical, so I, I don't know. Uh, musicals really aren't um, something that I'm probably ever going to go to or uh, be entertained by. And lastly, when is the last time you cried? And why was it when you were 17? That doesn't seem healthy. Just let it happen. It would be good. Don't call me. Don't come by my house. We're done. Here's the thing about crying or actually being emotional whatsoever. I think there is definitely a time and, the, and a place to do all that. However, uh, you should never do that around any sort of woman you're interested in or any sort of relationship you have. As soon as you show those uh, unhappy emotions, that gives a lot of women the ick. And they then they end up monkey branching. Monkey branching. So I would definitely recommend not doing that around any woman you're seeing. But you want to go to the gym and you want to do some ego lifting and cry during that. You can definitely do that. I have no problem with that. Let's check out this next clip. Men can actually and categorically ruin your life. So we're sitting down saying... Yes, and a good man can still be bad for you. It is so easy to assume that when we say that men can ruin women's lives, we are only talking about toxic men who disrespect women when that is not true. Good men who have different expectations for relationships than you do, who have morals and values that don't align with yours, who want to live a certain lifestyle that you are not interested in. Those men are also a danger to your life. Which brings me to my next point, which is that having this mindset that all men are trash while still being open to the idea of being in a relationship in the future is doing a disservice to yourself oh, here we go again hey look i thought we were doing the 4b isn't 4b where you like you don't even think about men and you you shut yourself off and you don't do anything or 
It, it didn't, didn't I do a 4B video? I'm pretty sure 4B is like you don't do any of that stuff. So why are we still uh, talking about this? Why are, why are we still trying to uh, convince ourselves that men are these dangerous uh, people all the while um, you're still in contact with many, many of these different types of men? Just not, it's only when you can get something from them. Isn't that weird to anybody else? And just to let you guys know that I've changed, I am definitely not going to say anything about this uh, individual's forehead. Let's continue. Because when you meet a man who is a decent human being, it is going to be that much harder to figure out whether you two are actually compatible or if you are just not used to a man treating you with bare minimum respect. And when you add that onto a scarcity mindset, this idea that you need to choose the option in front of you because you do not believe that there is going to be a better fit coming your way, it is not shocking that there are people who are in unhappy relationships despite believing that they chose a good person. You sure about that? You sure about that? The way this person talks really annoys me. Or is it just me? Or the, the way this person talks is just very annoying. And we get it. You don't like men. You don't like men. But the thing is, is that if we were to go into this person's comment section, I can't remember what the comment section said at the moment. But if we were to go into this person's comment section, it would be all of these these women that are agreeing with her. Say, you know what? Now that you mention it, men are, are dangerous. I don't need to be around men because all they do is lie. All they do is is take advantage of women that are nice, women that are perfect like me. You see me, I don't do anything wrong. It's always the other person. It's always the man. The man does everything wrong. Not me. I don't do anything wrong. I have a septum piercing and I'm perfect. I do nothing wrong. It's the man that does stuff wrong because, uh, well, six years ago, a man hurt my feelings and uh, I never let it go. I never got over that, that one instance where a man was possibly mean to me and now all men are trash. I made a video earlier about when women are in their early 20s and, and they're looking to start a family, they're looking to find a, a, a man to settle down with, if that's what they're trying to do, I would recommend them to do it as early as possible. Find them a man that they want to grow with and start your start your family. You, couples have always done because it, it, it just works. This is what happens whenever you don't do that. And then you're looking at the, you're looking in a mirror and you're like, you know what? I messed up. I messed up, you guys. I didn't do what I was supposed to do. And now I have to cope on TikTok. And now I have to convince myself that all men are are attackers. They do nothing but attack me and my kind. Give me a break. Because two things can be true at once. Someone can be a kind, decent human being and still not be the right fit for you which is why it is so important to decenter men. Because when you are in this mindset where you are living a life and making a life that is fulfilling for you, you are not going to allow anyone to be your partner because you are going to be comfortable leaving that spot open for the right person instead of just anyone. Your life, your goals, your future are way too important for you to put at permanent risk because you based a decision off of temporary panic and pressure. And what am I expected to do with my life? And that is what a large majority of, of these women will do is they will talk themselves out of a possible, to be honest, a, 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 a possibly good, a very good, very comfortable life because they are not willing to actually do what it takes in the beginning to do what it takes in the beginning with that done and now they're stuck on tiktok in their late 20s early 30s i don't know how old she is i'm, I'm really bad with age but they're it doesn't matter the age the only thing that matters and it doesn't matter if she's in her late 20s or early 30s the only thing that matters is that this type of content goes out to women who do not believe it or or want to do the latest thing and this is it and it's been this for a very long time on tiktok has been trash talking men that is, that's been the latest fad and uh, it's not going away anytime soon. And whenever I find a clip like this, I will always try to showcase it on my channel. And you know what? It might not get a whole lot of views and the video might not get a whole lot of likes or comments, but you know what? I think it's important to showcase this to some men or to showcase this to an audience of men, at least to let them know what's going on. Because a lot of guys, even if they're on TikTok actively, they won't even see this content. They will not see content like this unless they're actively searching. And I think it's very important to open up some sort of dialogue, a community of, of like-minded men that we can 
see this stuff and understand what's going on. A lot of men, me included, were completely checked out. Let them do their own thing. I applaud the 4B movement. I applaud the bear in the woods. I say it's all good. I say we keep doing it. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure out that no matter how hard we try, there's no talking sense into someone who wants to live in the delusion. But that is going to be the end of today's video. Let me know what you guys think. Leave me a comment if you have something to say. Subscribe if you're not subscribed, and I'll catch you guys later. Rat Boy out.